number 17 has the ball now, as you see from behind the cage. Bill, what they've done is Maryland is starting their second unit. This is actually their second offensive midfield unit. I think that's a ploy by Dickie Dell to match up better with his first unit, which will come in after them. Behind the net is Tom Bedard, number 14. But that guy with the ball right now, Brendan Hanley, is the guy who controls the offense. Brendan Hanley is naturally left-handed. He's working the right side, which he normally doesn't do, but he controls the offense. He tried to feed in front, and Enzer couldn't pick up the ground ball. Actually, Willard, and it will roll back towards midfield. The Terps defeated the Jays on April 18th at College Park, 11-7, rather, ending a long losing streak for the Terps. They are undefeated, coming in on the favorite to capture a national title. Loose ball push was the call. That was a good example, Bill, of why this game is going to be won on ground ball. Both coaches feel that ground balls are important. That ball did not leave the surface of the playing field. It rolled with a lot of speed to do it, but because of the heavy field, it stopped. They had to play the ball before it went out. A key factor today, ground balls, because the field is slow. They brought that first midfield in, have the Terps. This is Tom Wartsdale, an All-American, number 22. And a shot in front and a goal for the chair. Brian Willard puts Maryland on top, 1-0. Warstel fed him, and Willard fires it in by Kesenik, and the Terps take a 1-0 lead. Brian Willard has 17 goals on the season. This is why Maryland is so difficult. You concentrate on stopping Warstel, Warstel gives it to Willard. And Willard comes in, look, the defense is confused. He face dodges to get a closer angle, comes in on Quinn, takes the far pipe, and how about that for your accuracy? Right inside the pipe, a tremendous shot from that one goal advantage. Brian Willard puts the turf on top. Only a minute 39 into the first quarter. 